Hello friends, today we will learn about our solar system. At the center of our solar system, we have the sun. The sun is a huge, hot ball of glowing gases, primarily hydrogen and helium. It produces energy through nuclear fusion, which gives us light and heat. Without the sun, life on Earth would not be possible. The first planet closest to the sun is Mercury. Mercury is very hot during the day, with temperatures reaching up to 430 degrees Celsius 800 degrees Fahrenheit, but at night it can drop to minus 180 degrees Celsius minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit because it has almost no atmosphere to hold heat. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system and has a rocky surface covered with craters. The second planet is Venus. Venus is covered with thick clouds made of sulfuric acid, which trap heat in a runaway greenhouse effect making it even hotter than Mercury, with surface temperatures around 470 degrees Celsius 880 degrees Fahrenheit. Venus rotates very slowly and in the opposite direction from most planets, so its day is longer than its year. The third planet is our home, Earth. Earth is the only planet we know that has life, water in all three states, liquid, solid, and gas, air to breathe, and people like us. Earth has a strong magnetic field protecting us from harmful solar radiation and is surrounded by a protective atmosphere that regulates the temperature. Next, we have Mars, the red planet. Mars is colder than Earth, with an average surface temperature of about minus 60 degrees Celsius minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Its red color comes from iron oxide, or rust, on its surface. Mars has the tallest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons and deep valleys called Valles Marineris. Scientists think that one day, humans might visit Mars, as it has signs of ancient water flows and a thin atmosphere. After Mars comes the biggest planet of all, Jupiter. Jupiter is a gas giant mostly made of hydrogen and helium. It has strong storms, including the famous Great Red Spot, which is a giant storm larger than Earth that has been raging for centuries. Jupiter has over 80 moons, including Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system. Then we have Saturn. Saturn is famous for its stunning rings made of ice and rock. It is also a gas giant like Jupiter. Saturn has numerous moons, with Titan being the largest. Titan has its own thick atmosphere and lakes of liquid methane, making it one of the most interesting places to study. Next is Uranus. Uranus is an ice giant and unique because it rotates on its side like a rolling ball. Its atmosphere is made mainly of hydrogen and helium with methane, which gives it a blue-green color. Uranus has faint rings and many moons orbiting it. Finally, we have Neptune. Neptune is another ice giant and the farthest planet from the Sun. It has a deep blue color due to methane in its atmosphere and is known for very strong winds, the fastest in the solar system, reaching up to 2,100 km per hour 1,300 miles per hour. Neptune also has a moon called Triton, which is geologically active. And beyond Neptune, there is Pluto, which is called a dwarf planet. Pluto is much smaller than the other planets and has a frozen surface made of ice and rock. It was once considered the ninth planet but was reclassified in 2006 due to its size and orbit. So friends, now you know the planets of our solar system much better, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Space is amazing, and learning about it helps us understand the universe. Thank you so much for watching, my dear friends. I hope you enjoyed learning with us today. Remember, every day you learn something new, you grow smarter and stronger. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel so you never miss another exciting story or lesson. See you very soon in the next video, and keep learning, keep shining.